Today, the Tea Party Patriots rallied at the Capitol for what organizers billed as the largest Tea Party demonstration since the heyday in 2010. Our own Aaron McPike was there. Aaron, this drew some of the Tea Party's biggest darlings. Jake, it was. It was a who's who of the conservative movement. And this was really the first time they had to respond as a group to the IRS controversy that was tailored specifically to them. Remember these guys and gals? The Tea Party was out in force today, railing against the IRS. There are some people who want to write the obituary for the Tea Party, but if you look around at this crowd on a Wednesday afternoon, the Tea Party is alive and well, and we are going to write the obituary for big government. The Tea Party, of course, came to prominence before the 2010 elections, when its small government ethos energized the GOP, leading to massive victories at the polls. But after that, the Tea Party seemed to be on a slower boil. The Tea Party never went away. We changed our focus. We quit trading up to Washington here. We paid more attention to our home. We strengthened. We've organized. We're stronger. We're more resolute. And we have more resources. And now that we get our tax exemptions, we'll have even more resources. Recent controversies stemming from the Obama administration, like the IRS targeting Tea Party groups, have breathed new life into the conservative-fueled movement. Anybody want to fire some IRS agents? This is not a, 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 a flash-in-the-pan kind of protest either. This is going to go on until there's redress. Uh, we've been violated as Tea Party members, as conservatives. Their ire is largely directed at the Obama administration. But on Tuesday, Elijah Cummings, the top Democrat on the House Oversight Committee that's investigating the controversy, released a full transcript of an interview with an IRS agent. Democrats say that absolved the White House of responsibility in targeting Tea Party groups' tax-exempt status. The blame, Cummings says, rests almost entirely with the agents in the Cincinnati office. But that hasn't diminished the Tea Party's fervor. Lorraine Land got involved with the Tea Party just a month ago. How dare the government snoop in on our phone calls and our emails? Just because you disagree with what I believe or what I say gives you no right. And although President Obama won't be on any more ballots, the Tea Party sees ways to further weaken him with the news this week that his poll numbers are dropping. Now, let's talk implications, shall we? Mike Lee of Utah, a young conservative darling, said also today at that podium, this movement by 2014 will make 2010, the midterms then, look like a Sunday picnic for the Democrats. Lunch. 